I'm gonna I'm gonna make this short and sweet because um I don't want to spend too much time on bore you guys. With I it has come to my attention recently that it is obviously apparent that my enthusiasm to make videos has been apparent to my viewers. And that the showmanship, charisma, and energy that I used to put in my videos is has slowly been deteriorating with every video. And I understand. Don't get me wrong, I love making videos, but you have to understand one thing. The way I see it, and hopefully someone will change my mind, something will change my mind, but the way I've been seeing it lately is that no matter how hard I put, how much energy, time, and devotion I put into a video, there, people will always go somewhere else to watch videos on YouTube. And that no matter how hard I try, no matter how much time, no matter how much criticism I get, I am always plan F. Not even plan B, I am plan F. And that people would rather go to the bigger channels to watch a video and spend time on the internet. That's how it works. And it has recently come to my attention that there's nothing I can do to stop that. There is nothing that I can do to prevent you from going to other channels to fulfill your fix of yu gi oh But there is, it has also come to my attention that I owe it to myself not to give up. I've done a lot of thinking and I've just been to a regionals and I've done a lot of shit as far as this game. Like, I've been through a lot of shit. In the past regionals, I didn't do any better than I did at the first one and I practiced three times as hard. Now, for most people, that would be very discouraging. But for me, for, for me personally, that's the kind of shit that drives me to work harder. The same should apply to the YouTubes. Because for every person who could care less about whether or not I post up a video, there is another person who's just waiting for me to post up my next one. And even if that it, that person is just one guy, like, even if that guy, even if it's just one person waiting for me to post my next video and watches every single one, gives it a like, I owe it to that one person to not rob him of the privilege to watch my shit, of, of his joy and entertainment or his or her entertainment they come to me. For some reason or another, they come to me and spend two or three, five to ten minutes watching my content. As good or bad as people might think it is. Because I owe it to that one subscriber who continues to watch my views, like watch my videos and give me views and like them and comment them and tell me, tell me what I can do better. I owe it to that one guy or girl to not rob them of that opportunity. Look, YouTube isn't for everyone. Some people have it in front of this camera, some people don't. And the thing is, I know that in front of this camera, I feel like I've started to build the reputation of being the realest motherfucker on here. Not necessarily, I'm not saying no one else is real. I'm not saying no one else is like, but 
my content has slowly gone from entertaining to raw, uncut footage of how I feel and what I have to say and what I think. Uh, I don't do skits. I don't edit stuff out for the most part anymore. And there are some, time, or some segments where that's appropriate. Scoop phase. My, one of my most successful videos. And ironically enough, ironically enough, the most successful video I've ever had is an Exodia Troll deck profile that I made when I first started and posted up and talked about for 10 or 20 to 11 minutes. And that video still gets comments. It still gets views. Go back, seriously, go back to my videos and watch the shit. All right, it's not even a good deck. Honestly, it's not even that good of a deck. But I believe that it was the emotion I had behind the deck, the fact that I legitimately had fun with that deck that drawed people to that video. And I love making videos. I love making videos. And you know what? I want to include other people in my videos. I want to be able to record deck profiles for you guys, top deck profiles for you guys. But the thing is, this past regionals, I could have gotten at least half of the top eight. I had access to do that. I could have been able to do that. But I didn't. Because I felt like no matter how hard I try, I will never reach the success of the people who I look up to. Galactic God, Slim X Team Symmetry, Mickey Vlogs are the top. The, to, to name the top three. Even Descent on Enigma. I feel like no matter how hard I try, I will never be able to reach the pinnacle in which they have. Which is why I did not get those deck profiles, because I was like, I'm not going to be here for another two hours getting Billy Brake's deck profile just so I can get no views. Or I'm not going to spend another two hours getting my friend Alfonso's video who went eight and, or nine and one with Chaos Dragons and topped. An essential YCS with 700 plus people, which included players like Billy Brake, Alistair, your Yu Gi Oh! channel, and Shadow Rage were there as well. I didn't feel like it was worth it, and I regret it. So basically, this video is just. To kind of give myself a boost. To kind of give myself another burst of energy to want... I want to not only be good at this game, I want to be able to apply the skills I've learned in life to this game and to YouTube. I'm the guy who could stand up in front of hundreds of thousands of people and talk about absolutely nothing and be perfectly comfortable, but everyone would be listening. That's the kind of guy I am, and I feel like I try to portray that on camera. Because that's just the kind of guy I am. I don't cut anything back, I don't hold anything back, I wear my heart on my sleeve, that's how I am. And I feel like I just needed another boost. Another jolt of energy. I don't want to take a break, because I realize that if I take a break, I'm not going to come back. That's the just... I can get through this, and once I do, it'll be a whole new me. And I feel like now is the time where I make the decision to say either I keep going and say fuck what everyone else thinks, or fuck if I don't get any views, I'm gonna keep doing this for the people that do support me and for myself, or do I quit? And I'm gonna tell you right now, whether it's Awesome Sauce or Alberto, call me Tito please I go by Tito whether it's awesome sauce or whether it's Tito I don't quit I don't quit so I guess that's the answer to my to myself I guess this video is a lot really for me really I mean, it's for you so you guys can understand where I've been coming from with these last few few videos but it's mainly for me to be able to verbally express the fact that, well, 
I've been sucking lately because I haven't had the motivation or the drive that I've usually had to make videos because I haven't felt like it was worth it. Now I realize that I have 290 subs. That ain't shit. But to me, it's everything. Because that means 290 people on this planet believe in my content and want to watch me. And to you guys, I say thank you. And whether it's just me talking, or whether I'm entering scoop phase, or whether I decide whether a card is busted or a bust, whether it's the lowdown at locals, or whether it's another segment that I probably have dropped off, either way, no matter what I do from here on out, I'm going to do it 150%. Because I owe it to you guys and I owe that to myself. Today, right now, I put the awesome back in awesome sauce. And that's all I got to say about that. Thank you.